Good morning, bit of a strange start this morning. It's Saturday, the 20th of April. Behind me, you can see Silver Fox. We're going down Hatton Flight. The first lock is open and we're ready to go. And there's Simon on his lovely little boat, Dizzy Duck. We've had a nice chat, nice to meet you, mate. No, you too. Good, okay, good luck with the flight, we'll see you at the bottom. The first of 21. So nice to see Pauline and Derek. There's Derek on Silver Hello. Fox. We're, we've got the hard work today, Derek. Oh, I know. Watching, the, watching the ladies work. Yeah, 21 locks. We're going to be exhausted by the end of it. No, but joking aside, these could be hard work for the girls. So uh, we can swap and change if we need to. And there is a lovely Lockside Cafe at Hatton Flight. Loads of trinkets at the back of that. Lovely toy train and an old Tonka truck. Old bikes, lots of things. Really, really nice. And I did like the little unicycle that was there too. There you may be able to see an old pile driving boat. It used to have a steam pile driving machine strapped to those planks to put the edges along the canals. Now you can see Derek and Pauline are well organised, they've got their flasks and their crocs. I've just got dirty work boots and a bag of coal. You can see this gate, it's got a blue strap round it. They're doing repairs on that on Wednesday. So there is a closure for the day on Wednesday on this lock, lock 43. We are in the fourth lock now, the fourth lock of 21, which means we've got 17 to go. I'm not going to film all of them, but uh, I always say that and then I do, but I'm going to try not to because you will be bored senseless. So sit back, get yourself a drink and join us as we go down Hatton Flight. We're doing a bit of a narrow boat shuffle. Two came up. As us two are going down.
Pauline's come ahead to set this lock for us so she's opened the gates and everything and Nikki and Lily are shutting the gates and everything on the last lock. We're doing well. We're in the 20th lock, one more to go and we really have done it in record time I think. It's it's 20 to 1 nearly. Yeah, that's right. So we've done well. The girls, have, I've got to say, have done most of the work. Uh, we've done the odd gate and the odd paddle. Oh, I've just helped with that one. There we go. So we do do a little bit, but yeah, the girls, joking aside again, the girls are working hard there and they've seen us through. Uh, they really have worked hard. It's been a great day and luckily the canal guards were looking after us. We've got the weather. See you at the bottom. flight done we're in the last lock now we're gonna moor up just at the bottom but you expect a brass band and some sort of fanfare but, but there's nobody here it's just us but we did do well we did I don't know how long it took but we didn't do too bad Derek and Pauline are moored up back there. I can see the Salters Fadam in front of us, but we've decided to carry on towards the Cape uh, and have a, a quick look. Yeah, it's nice round here, really nice. There's the Salters Fadam, sort of marina. You can moor up in there. But we're doing a sharp left. Well, that's it. We're sitting in the sunshine. Uh, we came past the arm and we moored up just before the pub called the Cape of Good Hope. Um, yep, Derek and Pauline are going in the arm for a few nights uh, when they go away. So their boat will be nice and safe. We're going to make headway, I think. We're going to move on tomorrow. Uh, only through a few locks, perhaps, more up up there. We're not too sure yet. But we're glad today's done. It's been a very busy day. Didn't seem to take as long as we thought. I'm not just put the arm around. I'm not going to hit anybody. There we go. Didn't seem to take as long as we thought. It, uh, it was hard going, wasn't it, really, at times? Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Well, they did it. Um, Derek and I just steered the boats, really. But some of those hydraulic um, ground paddles, they looked hard work, about 50 turns a time to get the paddle up and down. But we've done it. We'll see you next time we move. She's not going to say bye today. <laughs> you ain't going to say bye. goodbye. She did. See ya. Good morning to you. It's Sunday the 21st of April. It's just before 10 o'clock. It's about 10 to 10. You may have seen there Nikki and Lily walking up to the first of possibly seven locks we might be doing today. We don't know. Uh, but they're going on there. There's a pub up there called the Cape of Good Hope. So we're going through these locks today. Uh, Pauline and Derek are back there. They're going into Saltersford Arm for a couple of days. They're going to go and see some friends. So they're le leaving Silver Fox there all safe and secure. So I've got to get moving and get Chugs up to that lock. Otherwise the girls will be waiting.
we have sort of hung back this morning these are double locks room for two boats in them so we were hoping that a boat would come but we don't really want to wang around too much today nobody else has turned up so it looks like we're taking chugs through on our own um, unless one speeds around that corner very quickly and last night we did have some youngsters sort of meeting up underneath this bridge here they didn't cause any problem there were no problem at all but uh, we could hear them having a few drinks under the bridge <laughs> Just coming up to the first lock now. It's cold, but that sun's nice. So we're just at the lock landing and you may be able to see behind me there, the Cape of Good Hope. It's a pub and it's been a pub since 1800. There was a small pub there uh, a little local stores and I think it was a little warehouse or a workshop uh, but yeah it's been there since 1800 right and I think there's a boat coming up That's them two out the way. Uh, we've got a moor up. There's a supermarket down here underneath Bridge 46, I think Nicky said. So we're going to moor up there for a little bit. Uh, little Lily needs some more slippers. I think the puppy's got them. Uh, so we need to get more slippers and then we may have another one or another six. No, another five. I'm not sure. There's Daddy Swan keeping guard. I mean, I'm not a big fan of swans. They're lovely looking, but they're very aggressive birds, but they pair for life. And fair dues, Daddy Swans, they do take care of their little signets. Where's the doggy? dude window after window after window
both Nikki and myself have said that going through Warwick, we think Warwickshire Council could do some more to encourage boaters. We've gone for miles and there's loads of mooring if you can get your pins in concrete. They're not really encouraging the boaters to stop here. There was only that little bit of Armco that we stopped at just before the Cape Pub and there were some moorings nearer the top lock there on rings nearer the Cape Pub. Very little here as you go through the town of Warwick. So they're not really encouraging the boaters. I mean, we're heading to a supermarket and it's a couple of bridges up here that you can moor up near and off outside the supermarket. But as for tourism, they could do a lot more. Bridge 46 just behind us and there's a Tesco's over there, Tesco's supermarket and a McDonald's here. Uh, Nikki and Lily have just gone off to the shop. Uh, Noah and I are sitting here, dog sitting. Hopefully they won't be long and then we can carry on to our mooring. It's getting cold believe it or not and I believe there's rain forecast for tomorrow. So we're looking for somewhere as a nice base for a couple of days when we wait for uh, Pauline and Derek. But yeah. It's been okay. Not my favourite of uh, cruises, I'll be honest with you. Just got a funny vibe. Just me. shopping done for a few more days now to find a nice mooring for another few days uh, it's getting a bit overcast now but uh, it's not too bad but all the shopping's done uh, Nikki's just putting the shopping away now got a nice pasty for dinner Lovely. morning Just below us there, the River Avon. Trains, yeah. Just at the moment going through Leamington Spa, uh, we want to get on the outskirts of the cities now and more up as I said earlier for a couple of days. We're just going past Royal Leamington Spa Shopping City. No, I've got, no, I've got, no. uh, is it a shopping centre type place? It's a shopping centre. One shopping centre is much the same as another shopping centre. Uh-huh. 
we're carrying on. Thank you.